cheese has mold in it. I love blue cheese. Blue cheese has mold in it. I love blue cheese. Blue cheese has mold in it. Ranch is good. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction video. It's up, Corbin. I'm lactating. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks on Facebook. Also on Parsley YouTube. Uh, it's a hilarious guy. He takes like internet comments of like funny like boomers having they're not making any sense in their comments, and he mm -hmm. makes them into songs. Oh, cool. and he's on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know how yeah, I, that one. I, I, just I missed him. Yeah, that one I just sang. It was a collaboration with him and Jimmy Fallon, actually. Oh, yeah. I have I missed that. Any old who. Anyways, would you what are we doing? Shut up! What are we doing? Stop are we, talking. Are we reacting to TikTok stuff? Good, it's banned in India. That's that's actually accurate, yep. What uh, if I played a TikTok on my phone into the camera? Would they block the, the video? No, because this is YouTube. Right, so you can take TikTok videos and put them up on YouTube and they can play in India? There's a bunch. Maybe we should create a TikTok channel. But also, they could just use their VPNs and it wouldn't matter. Yeah, that's, that's what they're doing anyway, it doesn't matter. You can bypass <laughs> it. There's a dark market for everything, including underwear. I'm wearing what dark, does that have to do I'm wearing with dark anything? underwear right now. What does that have to do with anything? Cheese. What? In your underwear. Mm. So I melt my cheese. Anyways, today we're reacting to a video. It's called The World's Most Expensive Briani. Okay, it's going to have silver and gold stuff. That's usually how they make it. Edible, edible silver and gold. I can make my... My ramen noodles expensive. Here's some gold and silver thrown on top of it. Uh, eat. With 23 karat gold. In there you life. go. Uh, Briani. Why are you going to do that? One, it, it probably has a lot more than that. So we'll but see. Why are we going to do that? There's, there's people starving that need food. Why are you going to waste it by just putting it all over your freaking Briani? Because there's people that will give you money for this. <laughs> Capitalism. Uh, anyways. But yeah. Uh, so... We, we both have biryani. Biryani is delicious. Delicious. I've made biryani. Very complicated thing to make. Uh, yeah, I've, you start it. You do it in layers. Yeah, and it's. I only say yeah because I've seen it. Extremely complex. But biryani, one of the most popular things in India. I hope they're gonna tell us the actual value of this plate, and if it's absurdly obscene. Well, it has twenty. Well, it says it has twenty-three karat gold on it. But let's see the, how much the plate costs and how angry I'm gonna get. Have you ever seen the show Worth It? It's a. Yeah. It, it's been on for a few. It's on BuzzFeed, uh, but it's an actual thing of like there's two guys that go around and, um, so like let's say the theme of the video is hot dogs. So they'll have a cheap hot dog, okay, a middle of the road hot dog, nice. and then a really expensive hot dog, and determine is it worth it? Which one? Oh, is, I like is it. it. Worth it. Cool. So they have a lot of stuff with gold on it because all the expensive of stuff has gold. On That's it. how you make anything <laughs> expensive. Just slap some gold on it. Anyways, uh, so uh, did I turn on the? I don't know if I did my sound yet. Blah, 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 I don't blah, know, blah, but blah. the easiest way to turn on your speakers is to whisper sweet nothings in its ear. Simple somethings. Here we go. This is the most expensive biryani in the world. Oh, that does actually. I'm not looking at the gold, I'm looking at everything else. Yeah, it, it looks, looks delicious. delicious. And over the past few years, there have been so many biryani joints popping up all over town. There are biryanis for 10 grams, 20 grams, 200 grams. Which biryani is the best? Excellent question. We'll tell you about it in another episode. Today, <laughs> we're trying one that's 1,000 grams. And that's the 1, most expensive. 1,000 euros? That's 1,000 dollars. That's, that's like way more than 1,000 dollars. Okay. That's like 1,500 dollars. Kind of it's not just that. Oh, that looks good though. I'm not spending a thousand dollars, but that looks good. The rice itself weighs three kilos, and you've got three different kinds here. You have biryani rice, keema rice, and Johnny would be happy. white rice with saffron. <laughs> Give her the, the bowl of rice. Potatoes, baby potatoes. Those are potatoes. I thought those were eggs. Those do look like hard-boiled eggs. Grills. Three different kinds of chicken grills. Oh. You've got the Malay chicken, and rajputan and bhutsura. It's a little bit spicy. Chicken meatballs. Ooh. 
more meat, you've got lamb chops and lamb sheet kebab. A huge lamb sheet kebab. And wow. Two. Wow. And as if that wasn't delicious enough, it's garnished with mint leaves, cashew nuts, pomegranates, mint leaves, onions, <laughs> and just some onion going on. And it takes 45 minutes to put everything together. Slather that gold on there. <laughs> just... Some gold. Until, That's uh, all they oh, did. Oh wait, did he say euros back. or pounds? Euros. Okay, sorry, I thought he said pounds. Yeah, they just slather gold on it. How much are those sheets of gold? I have no idea. A little over a thousand bucks, probably, huh? Yeah, it's twelve hundred dollars. Inside, you get three different sauces and a rifle. Yeah, so you have Nihari salam, Jodhpuri salam, Badami sauce, oh. almonds and pistachios, oh. and palm oh. How do you eat this thing? Again, do I peel off the gold like a? No, I'm not biryani guy. I first came to the. Can I get a box to go? The first meal I ever had was a biryani from Karachi Darbar. That's a true story. I'm on a mission to find the best biryani in the world. And I've tried it in many different places. I had it in Spain, Thailand, Los Angeles. I was in London on a 10 hour layover and I tried biryani. I even had biryani at the Burj Al Arab. At the time, they didn't have that in the menu, but when you stay at the Burj, you kind of get whatever you ask for. And the biryani was pretty good. So, question on everyone's mind what's this biryani taste like? Let's dig in. I'm going to start with the gold. It's so delicate. Have you ever had the gold flakes? No. I have no idea what that tastes like. Probably nothing. I tell my mom I made it eating gold. I would imagine it tastes metallic. Yeah. It doesn't taste like anything. It tastes like anything. Yeah, that's what I thought. Gold flakes. It's pointless. One more time. It's just to say I have gold on my can I Can I have it without the gold? <laughs> It's, it's probably yeah, it's it's hundred bucks. Literally, yeah. just so you can I mean, say, I, I had gold on my food. Gold on top or something. Which is, uh, to be fair, pretty good experience. How often can you say you had gold biryani, gold sheikh kebab? I bet it's like a hundred bucks without this all the gold. <laughs> probably. It looks delicious though, minus the gold. Delicious. So flavorful. There are a thousand different ways to cook and flavor your biryani. But its origins can be traced back all the way to Persia. Even the word biryani comes from the Persian Birinj Biryan. Oh, I thought it was an Indian thing. Five words. Okay, fun fact, huh. not an urban legend, but an interesting origin story goes all the way back to the Mughal era, to Shah Jahan and his wife. They say that Mumtaz was visiting her army barracks, and when she met a soldier, she felt like they were undernourished, so she gave the chef a special recipe. And apparently, it was biryani. Let's get into the meat of it, man. It's got some gold on it. Gold plated sausage. Yeah, I just. So good. In the Mutton slathered in gold, mm -hmm. Rick? Mm -hmm. Lamb chops. This is a nice place. I'll, I, I, I would love the mutton. Good. Sans gold. Oh, you know, hand, right? Yeah, can you ask for it without the gold? <laughs> I'm sure you can. It's really good. Man. Rating so far, this one about uh, eight and a half out of ten in terms of flavor. It's, it is exquisite. It so better be. <laughs> If you like the video and you want to see more cool stuff like this, don't forget to like, share. Yeah. Just look, look at it though. Minus the gold, that looks phenomenal. I would eat that. Yeah, it looks very, looks, looks very Would I pay anywhere near a thousand dollars? No, never. There is not one article of food I would ever, and I could hold have on, hold on, Jeff on. Bezos money. I would never spend a thousand dollars on one single dish of food. Even if it was that much, because I could feed six people. That's not a thousand dollars worth of food. That's 87,000 freaking rupees. All I'm thinking about is how many people's salaries a year that is. That's true. But I'm saying, like, if you were, I've been at a dinner that was much more than that. Because, well, if some other ignorant fool is going to spend that amount of money, the guy has a lot of money. <laughs> I'm even still, I don't, literally taking gold, something that's really valuable, and turning it into my own shit. Literally when that gold could have been used for what that has value. Hey. Yeah, th these, these kinds of things are detestable for me. Well, God likes it. You made the people eat a gold calf. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Old Testament jokes! <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> no, I, I just, I find this kind of decadence to be in, um, offensive. Yes, but you would eat the biryani. No. You, no, I'm not talking gold. I'm talking just Oh, I would biryani. love to everything else. 
if you got rid of all the gold and you have all of that food there and you're taking away the, the cost they put on the plate, yes. it looks delicious. Yes. The food itself looks absolutely exquisite. Briani is so Yeah, that, it looks good. really, really tasty. Reminds me of, um, but I don't even remember how much that dala was. Dada yeah, was. I have no, no clue. I think it was more around $50 though. And that was nowhere near a thousand dollars. Oh yeah, I would never, because <laughs> our team took us there. I'd be very upset uh, if they took us there and they were handing me a check. You could stay at a hotel in India for a month for a thousand American dollars. Depends on the hotel. No, I mean, there's many that yeah. you could. Um, <laughs> not the Taj. Not the Taj. <laughs> not the Taj. I looked up the prices. They were American prices. Oh yeah, at the Taj in Mumbai. That's not a surprise. Yeah, they were not a surprise. They were expensive. But yeah, I just, I just, whenever, I don't mind watching lifestyles of the rich and famous kind of things and seeing the ways that people had lived in opulence. But when I see something that's like an, an, a, 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 that's like this is an, I wonder how many people actually get this because I would have a really, really hard time. My bet is it, it that doesn't happen. Not, not often. It, it's done so that somebody can show you how wealthy they are. Yeah, essentially it's like the, the 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 rich snobs that come in that want to impress people. Right. And Which is entirely different than, say, buying a, a bottle of wine that's expensive. Mm -hmm. Because when you're buying a bottle of wine that's expensive, it's typically going to have an incredible taste to it. This, yeah. The gold there tastes like nothing. So you're basically spending money on your own defecation. Well, I would, <laughs> I would like to know how much it costs. So you're going to poop it out. Without the gold. Like how much that drives up the price to get to well, whatever price it was at. If you weighed all of that gold, 23 karat gold, they've overpriced this thing based on the fact that it's just an event that you go to and you can get there and no one else is doing it. Because if you weighed all of that gold, I bet it barely weighs anything. Uh, so I, I doubt I doubt there's more than... Look up how uh, much... I doubt there's... Look how much edible gold sheets are. How much does an edible gold sheet cost? I just want to know. Like 50 bucks. So... F Depending upon the gold. For 20... This is what That's, it says, yeah, right? It's 23 carats. So for a 24 carat sheet of gold, one of those... Uh, uh, 50 bucks. 50 bucks. So if you, even if you put that entire thing on there, that's so incredibly... One, if you put five of those on there, that would be 250 bucks. Plus the rest of the food we're talking, there's no way the cost of that plate is going to be more than three or four hundred dollars. And even I'll, then, that's I wonder if insane. this I wonder if this hotel or restaurant is just like a crazy like that is literally like a big name. Is it, is it owned by the guy who has the most expensive house in the world? No, this is in Dubai. Oh, so maybe no. I don't know. Well, it still, still could be stuff in still Dubai. I don't know. Let us know. Uh, but uh, now I want Briani. Of course, it's in Dubai. Everything's bigger and more expensive in Dubai. It makes it that much more <laughs> bothersome to me. <laughs> now I want biryani.